Well, we have an interesting tech corner today. Yes, we do. Um, about this little device, it's the X-Rite RM200 QC. But before we get into that, companies spend a lot of money on developing their color. Um, they'll spend tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars to come up with their corporate color or the color for their packaging for a product or for the product itself because they want that product uh, to leap off the shelves, for instance, right? And so a lot of thought goes into color. Now, once you've defined that color, you want to make sure that color stays consistent from product to product, from year to year for the lifetime of the product, or if it's a corporate logo, you want it to last forever, right? Co color is very important to the, the perception of a product or a company. So that's where these devices come in. They enable the person on the shop floor to make sure that the color that a, a product coming off the assembly line or a color swatch they're working with, uh, maybe the color of fabric that they're going to use for a product is consistent from lot to lot. Now the way this product works, and we'll get into the details in just a little bit, is essentially you record a color standard. So you actually just use this to measure your standard. And then from there, that standard is stored and then you can take it to your samples and it compares the sample to the standard and it gives you a pass fail. It also gives you some details on the, uh, the color space and the, the actual color attributes of the product that you've, uh, of the color that you've just measured. So let's show you how this works. First of all, I'll come over here to the gauge cam. And if we put, uh, get that centered on there. Okay, this is the front of the product, very small. Flip it over, I wanna show you something interesting about the back. If we look up here where my thumb is, that's where the optics are, that's the business end, and this flap simply closes over it to, for storage. Now the interesting thing is, is that the color, I'm sorry, that the, the uh, white swatch used for calibration is actually stored underneath this little lid, so that when we close this, it's actually ready for calibration. So you don't ever have to worry about losing the calibration swatch, uh, uh, of it getting dirty. It's nice and safe right here underneath the lit lid, ready to go. So one of the first things I want to do is I want to shut the device off, because I want to show you what happens when you power up. So first thing that happens, I power up, and it asks me, in just a second here, to calibrate. It requires calibration every time you power it up. It reminds you that the lid needs to be closed. That's what this message says here. I press my little trigger button, and now it takes maybe 10, 15 seconds to calibrate the device. Once it's calibrated, it's good to go, and we can start taking measurements. Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to record our standard. So uh, I'm going to create a standard right from scratch, show you how easy it is just happen to have a yellow piece of post-it note. So that is going to be our standard. Post-it note yellow is going to be our standard. So I'm in standard mode. I tell it that I want to edit this standard or create a standard. And I'm inside of it. And I'm going to take three measurements. There's my first measurement. Oh, and it reminded me, sorry, I was reading with the, it told me that I didn't have my optics. I was still in calibration mode and my lid was still closed. So let's, let's start from scratch then on this. Sorry about that. That's what little warning messages are all about. <laughs> so we'll go back into edit mode on nice this. Nice little functionality. Nice there. little functionality there. Yeah. Okay, we're ready to go. So now we're going to take our measurements. There's our first measurement. Hey, no error message. There's our second measurement. And here is our third measurement. It will average those. And now, and here's some details on those measurements, what the color attributes actually are. And now our standard is there. All I have to do is save it, tell it yes, and our standard is good to go. Now we can go into measurement mode. One mouse click over, I'm ready to measure. Now what I can do is if I just measure this standard again, it should tell me that it passes. We would hope that it would pass since it's what I just measured. And sure enough, I get a nice little green check mark down there, which tells me I've passed. But let's compare it to a different yellow. I happen a, to a, have a very close yellow. A very close yellow. In fact, let me show you. This is happen to have a book here. This on your screen there, these yellows probably appear to be fairly close, and they are in in fact fairly close. This one is a bit my standard is a bit a lighter yellow than the standard on this book, than the color on this book, but we'll just measure the one in this book just the same. So I come over here and I'm ready to take my sample. I take my color 
And sure enough, a big red mm -hmm. X mark tells me that this sample failed. It also tells me uh, how far off it was. And if I want, I can actually look at the color attributes of what I just took a picture of here, and it would tell me what the color actually is. Now, again, um, you can set the, uh, the degree of um, error that you will accept. You can set your error band on this. So if you want, uh, right now it's set to 1%. You can set it to higher. You can set it to lower. It's set to 1% 1 1 by default, meaning that as long as I am within 1% of error, it will accept the color. If I'm outside of that, it won't accept it. Uh, I've played around with this. I've played with some color swatches, uh, paint swatches from different manufacturers that look I swear, look almost identical. And it will detect that there's a difference. Now, I will say this is really used uh, more for uh, paint, fabric, plastic. It is not really intended for use on metallic. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, X-Rite has a different instrument for measuring, let's say, opalescent paints, uh, you know, a metal, flake, uh, metal flake paints. This really isn't an, an automobile paint ex uh, measurement device. It's really intended for more for flat uh, matte surfaces. Um, now, the other thing that's interesting about this is you can hook this directly to certain printers and you can print a report directly to a printer or you can connect it to your computer, download all of your sample data. By the way, I believe this takes up to 300 samples. Download that into your computer or you can download a PDF report direct to your computer and then of course email it out. The thing that is kind of slick though is that you can connect it directly to uh, uh, several different types of inkjet printers. Just press a button and it'll print a report right out to a printer and you don't even need to, to have a computer on hand. So again, this is the, uh, the X-Rite RM200QC from X-Rite. Cool little product due out in September.